Amaru Mask Lover Yeah Girl, you looking better than the photos Need more of your time, so I'm watching you in slow-mo Yeah Busy schedule, but it doesn't really matter when it comes to you Yeah I can't wait to wait together, I can never get enough of you Yeah She said, what you want from me? Baby, what you want from me? Yeah, yeah Nothing but your company on the top. Hey fairies, welcome back to my channel. It's Larija Andrea. And if you guys did not know, this is part two to my blonde hair, short hair series. If you guys did not see part one, make sure you guys go and check that video out because it is show popping and it gives you guys all the details on how we even got here. As always for my fairies that just like to jump around my video and just get straight to the point of what you came here for, make sure you guys check out my table of contents. Now for those fairies that are like, how in the heck are you getting to white blonde with no bleach? This is the secret right here. This product is from Age Beautiful. It's not the first time you guys have seen this, if you guys have seen part one. And I'm gonna be using their Hyper Lift Hair Color in Clear. I mix together one ounce of the hair color and then I'm also gonna be taking one ounce of this Ultra Bond 40 developer. All the products from Ultra Bond always has the measurements on the side. And I'm also going to put a little bit of my protein filler. This is basically to bring the bonding back to my hair as it's processing, which really just means making the lightening process as healthy as it can possibly be. This is a bleach free product. It's going to lift your hair up to about four stages without causing any harm or breakage. The directions say that you can leave this product on up to 60 minutes but instead of just doing one sitting of 60 minutes, I just broke it up into two parts and just did two sittings of 30 minutes each. My hair has gotten a lot longer in the past week since the first time I bleached my hair. So I would not recommend for you guys to comb through cream bleach or powder bleach, but because this is a high lift hair color, it's not gonna do any harm. Now I decided to bleach my brows in the previous video as well. So anything that I'm doing to my hair I'm just gonna follow up and do the same thing to my brows. Finishing up the first process, I'm just gonna put a shower cap on my head and also put a plastic film on my brows and let both process for about 30 minutes, but making sure that you are checking about every 10 minutes. The box says to do this and I just like to do it just on my own to make sure that my hair is not getting extremely damaged, but with these products, they are absolutely amazing. Yeah, no escaping from my mind, but low key. You know that you one of a kind. I rinsed my hair color lightener out, and this is how my hair looks without shampooing or conditioning. I'm gonna take this Ultra Bond Bond Synergy Cleanse, and this is their shampoo. Age Beautiful actually recommends to use their shampoo, conditioner, and their deep treatment because just using all three of these is going to have your hair looking as healthy as can be with it being lightened. I just took the shampoo and rinsed that out, and now. Now I'm gonna use the conditioner. I'm using both the regular conditioner number two and a deep treatment in today's video. But for the first wash process, I did use the conditioner number two. So I'm just going to comb that through, making sure it's all throughout my hair, put on a heated cap and let it sit for 10 minutes. <laughs> Now it's time for process number two, and we are gonna be doing that same high color lift and clear, but first I'm gonna be using this protein filler, and I'm going to apply this all over my hair, massaging it in, put a plastic cap on, and let that process for 25 minutes. What's the we make love? Sometimes I don't really know where I have you. Feels like someday you can flip us. She the real thing, but she go hard and like Greenland. Church girl moving like a queen pen. Hey, yeah, my thing, girl, no, yeah, my thing, girl. 
without rinsing that protein filler out. I'm going to reapply the high color mixture onto my hair yet again, making sure it's all throughout my hair, but do not forget about the brows for those that did end up bleaching your brows. Place a plastic film on those brows and then let the hair in the brows process for an additional 30 minutes. Baby, do you know if you're ready for me? Hey. Ready for me? Yeah. Ready for me? She said, let me know when you're ready for me. Hey. Ready for me? Ready for me? This is the last high color lift process that we're gonna be doing today. But yet again, make sure that you are doing a 10 minute check every 10 minutes. You might not really want it as light as I did in the video, but once you're satisfied with the lightning, you can go ahead and wash your hair with the Ultra Braun shampoo one more time. And this is the ending results of the high color lift. Now, this is not the white blonde that you guys are probably thinking of. It's like a very light ash blonde, but we're gonna change it into that white bright blonde. I'm gonna be doing a purple shampoo bath today using the Ion Cool Blonde Shampoo as well as the Shimmer Light Shampoo. In mixing both of those shampoos together, I am going to apply those to my hair because both of those products is what's gonna give us that super white stark silver. Even when I started putting those shampoos in my hair and massaging that in, you instantly start to see the hair turn white and silver and the same thing that I did I'm just gonna do the same thing on my brows and massage that in I don't know what's up with our love our love you forgetting all about us about us oh now I'm gonna let that process for an additional 25 minutes. You definitely could just leave it as is. I wanted that brightness to come out as much as possible. So I went ahead and rinsed the purple shampoo bath out and here is the white blonde, y'all. I'm gonna show a comparison of the before and after doing the purple shampoo bath and I'm just going to seal in everything by using the Ultra Bond Deep Treatment Mask. I'm gonna apply this all over my hair and then put that heated cap on and let that sit for about 20 minutes. Hey, got him on a rebound. But it's only you that I like, babe. Tout ce que j'ai fait, c'était pour toi. Sur le haut, parle, mais t'écoute pas. Tu me vois crever, mais tu bouges pas. Now you are more than welcome to let that white blonde be the final destination of your hair color. The whole point of the video is for me to show you guys how to get that white blonde. And now that the work is done, I'm gonna show you guys how to custom make your own ash white blonde. I'm gonna take that pearl toner and I'm gonna mix that in with some 10 Gentle Cream Developer. But I'm gonna use an additive. I'm gonna take a 050 cooling color additive. And this is used to bring a cooling ash effect to any hair color that you guys have. Now I did want that white blonde, but I also wanted a slight ash to it. So to do that the best way possible, I decided to custom make my own toner and you guys can do this with your hair colors as well. I'm going to put a shower cap on and put a plastic wrap on my brows and let both of those toners on brows and hair sit for 20 minutes. Let's say hallelujah to our last wash routine. And before I do my shampoo, I'm gonna take this pre-poo hair oil and I'm gonna apply that all over my hair and let it sit for five minutes. But in the meantime, I'm gonna take my post epic acid cream. I use this in the first step of my blonde video and it's basically to bring down the redness or the irritation to my brows. Oh yeah. I'm going to take this as I am cleansing pudding to use as my shampoo today. It is sulfate free and it will not strip out any of my hair color that I took such a while to customize. And then I'm going to just seal in everything with the Carol's Daughter Manoy Repairing Conditioner. And I'm going to apply this all throughout my head and put a heated plastic cap on and let that process for 20 minutes. Like you, my baby.
my number one number one eight number one number one eight now this is the finished look this is how that ash white blonde is looking it is so beautiful i'm going to take this allocate naturals lemon grass leave-in conditioner i do have a little bit of hair on my head so i want to make sure i am moisturizing my hair as much as possible and i'm going to use this new myel organics oat and honey soothing hair balm when i picked this up this literally is the best thing i have ever used in my entire life it helps with sensitive skin as far as a dry scalp and i do not have any itchiness to my head i'm going to seal in everything with this tgin honey whip hydrating mousse i love this because it does a super good job with slicking down my hair my hair has gotten longer i am in need of a super bad haircut but i'm trying my best to hold out because there is a barber that i want to fly to and i am this weekend honey Now I wanted to add this 15 minute soft glam makeup look for someone that wants to look super decent, but in a short amount of time. I'm first gonna use the Juvia's Place brow gel to just push my brows up. And I'm just gonna conceal underneath those brows with the Fenty Beauty Concealer in the shade 445 as well as 410 on top. This foundation routine is going to be slightly decent and just giving us skin. I love to use this beauty oil I received and I have not put it down since. I'm going to apply that all over my skin and highlight underneath my eyes using this Juvia's Place Concealer in 06. And I'm going to take two of the foundations I've been using lately, the Morphe Soft Filter Foundation in the shade Deep 32, as well as the Too Faced Foundation in the color Chai. And I'm going to put both of those foundations just in marks where it's slightly dark or discolored. Blending together that concealer and that foundation, I'm going to just blend it with this Real Techniques setting brush and this just gets my foundation and concealer as flawless as possible. Mixing together the Juvia's Place setting powder in Kalahari as well as the Laura Mercier in medium deep. I'm going to apply those both to my under eye and I'm then going to take the Anastasia cream bronzer in hazelnut and chestnut and apply the lighter shade to my nose and the more warmer shade to my cheeks. And then I'm just going to seal everything in with this Sephora collection micro smooth powder and apply that all over my entire face as well as my under eye. I'm going to seal in my makeup with the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray and use that Juvia's Place brow gel one more time to get any powder from my brows. Taking this Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop Loose Highlight, I'm going to put that to my cheekbones and my nose. And I'm going to do a slight winget today using the discontinued NYX Liquid Liner in Matte and just use some mascara to my upper and lower lashes. Oh, I feel the magic in the air And when you give me a taste, give me a taste, I swear When you give me a taste, let me take it over, drive it like a chauffeur Lashes are from I Envy Kiss in the style 01 and just taking another Laura Mercier translucent setting powder in the shade Honey. I'm going to apply that to define my nose a lot more and use the shade Medium Deep yet again and define my cheekbones. I'm going to make sure it's all blended in taking the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in Deep and then use that Charlotte Tilbury setting spray one more time. Now like I told you guys i am going to be flying out to detroit this weekend to get my hair professionally cut so i have a style in mind and everything i decided to go white blonde because my mission is to go to a pastel color i don't want to disclose what color it is yet but make sure you guys turn on that notification bell so you guys will see that upload very soon so i'm just going to finish off the makeup look and just use a lip 
oil from Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. I don't believe that she sells this anymore, but I'm just going to line the perimeter of my lips with this Sephora Collection lip stain in bright auburn. And that is pretty much the end of the video, you guys. Thank you guys so much for coming to part two. And if you guys did not see it yet, make sure you guys go over to part one and check that out. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel, like this video. If you guys made it this far in the video, leave down a comment below saying blondie. So I know you guys watched the whole thing, but thank you guys so much. Make sure you guys subscribe and turn on that notification bell for all my new uploads. And as always, can't wait to see you guys in my next one. And bye guys.